Hey y'all, today I'm going to be making pickles. Finally, I've had this in the works for quite a while, but I have not had a chance to do them. I have uh, two boxes to do today. Um, I'm gonna do regular dill, spicy dill, and hopefully some bread and butters. Uh, if I don't get those today, I will definitely get to them tomorrow. I have my beautiful fresh pickles from the farm. Aren't they gorgeous? These bigger ones I am going to slice and make into my bread and butter pickles. These are the ones that I'm going to stick in the jar for the spicy dill and the regular dill. I've got my beautiful dill from the farm also. All of this is homegrown product except for the garlic. We did not grow that this year. I have grape leaves. I use these instead of um, pickling crisp. They do the exact same thing. These are off of our Mustang grapevines that are growing wild. Um, I'm going to wash them really good and I'm gonna put one or two in the bottom of each quart jar. And it does a great job at keeping the pickles crisp and not letting them soften up. Okay, this first batch that I'm going to do is going to be regular dill pickles. Um, which all I'm gonna do is just put the grape leaves garlic and the fresh dill in here first and then next i'm going to get my brine going and uh, once that gets hot and the salt and the sugar dissolves i am going to well i'm going to put the pickles in here too after i put the dill and everything um but after this gets hot i'm going to ladle it over my pickles and my dill and all that good stuff I've got all of these filled. I've got six of them done. Don't they look beautiful? I'm gonna do one more because my water bath canner holds seven quarts. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do seven quarts of regular dill pickles. And after I fill this jar, I am going to get my brine going over here. This is my grandmother for you. Um, I'm gonna do one cup of vinegar, three cups of water, one tablespoon of sugar, and three tablespoons of salt. That doesn't sound like it makes a lot for seven quarts, but you've got all these pickles in here. So you really don't have that much space for a lot of brine. All right. Now, let me get this open. One cup of vinegar, just regular white distilled vinegar. going to get my three cups of water. Okay, now we want to do our three tablespoons of salt. Now I need my tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm gonna get this going and we'll be right back once it's done. Now our brine is ready to go. I'm going to get my funnel out. I love this thing. It came in my canning kit. I will link that and my water bath canner down below so y'all can check it out. There's that one inch headspace. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit and cover this one pickle. Okay, that's more than what we want, but not much, you know, that's right above it. So now I'm going to get my 
my ring and seal. Put it on their fingertip tight and set it in my water bath can. All right, I've got all seven quarts in the water bath canner. There's about an inch of water over the top. I love this canner. I will post it uh, on the description. I'm gonna add a good splash of vinegar in here because I have hard water and it will cause my jars to be uh, clouded looking. Okay, now this is done. I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna let this, actually, I'm gonna move it back. Now, my mom is here with me. She is going to help me do our spicy dill pickles next. And I'm going to get these guys out of here. But that's what they look like. Aren't they beautiful? So I'm going to use the same brine recipe that we used for the dill pickles. Hello everybody, I'm mom. <laughs> All right, mom is, she's got her pickles right here. She's got her grape leaves in the jar and she's gonna start them the exact same way I did. Grape leaf, garlic, dill, and then I'll put my peppers in there because she is not a big pepper fan. Okay, put it in the jar. There you go. One in here. Need dill in this one. There you go. Go ahead and put some garlic in those two. I'm going to get some dill. Two. I want more chips. Some dill. Stick out of there. No, in the jar. In this jar? In the jar. Uh huh. Look at this. Can't believe, well, it is July, so I can't believe the dill's kind of drying up already. Oh, it's been kind of a weird year. I feel yeah, like right now I was, doing, I was doing jalapenos last year. Mm hmm. Thank you. Okay. Good job, okay. baby. Let's see. Did we get a garlic in each one? We did. We'll do one more. I don't know if we need that last jar or not. Okay, you can put them in there if you want. It's a towel one. Yeah. I go, Oma. Mommy will put the pepper in in a second and I'll start stuffing. Okay, uh, so I've got dried peppers. These are supposed to be red Thai peppers. I could not find them anywhere, so we're going no, with these. These are, are hot. these are hot, baby. I don't want you to rub your eyes. And yeah. Let Mommy do the hot peppers. You can help me put the pickle in, okay? Hang on just a second. All right. Okay. Yeah, if we have enough to do that last jar, let's do it. Because I want to get yeah. seven. Yeah. Go ahead. There you go. Let Hang on just a minute. Let Oma get the bottom, and then I'll let you put some in there, okay? Let me see this big one. It's a little bit big, but it'll help kind of hold things down. Okay. Kind of just stuffing as best as you can. These are more big than what I typically like. I know. I told Opa I wanted tiny ones, but, but... I know. Oh, well, these are perfect. Oh, honey. And I'm like, oh, honey, these are fine. Opa, I think Oma yelled at you for that last year. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, babe. I can All say right. that. Look at how pretty that looks. <laughs> I'm just crazy about these spicy dill pickles. I'm going to be happy when you make my dill relish. Is that a yummy cucumber? Mm -hmm. And the amount of peppers that you put in each jar is a matter of preference. Um, I've done one, I've done two, three, four, five. Yeah. I like to stay in like the three or yeah, four yeah, range. Mama. Good. Um, and because of the fact that these are dry, they're not fresh, I do have Thai peppers growing out in the garden right now, but they are still green and they are not ripe in order to be canned. All right, I've got my brine ready, same batch, same recipe that they that we did earlier. Okay, and I'm going to just fill my jars with it, just the same. One little, two little, three little pickles. One little, three little pickles. Oh, man, you're so precious. 
five little pink balls. Seven little, eight little, nine little pink balls. Yay. <laughs> you are precious. Look at how pretty that is. All right, now I've got the spicy dill pickles in the water bath canner. Same thing as before. I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes once it reaches that hard boil. So in the midst of all this, we got brought a box of okra. So now we're trying to see if we have enough dill and enough grape leaves to can at least a few quarts of garlic dill okra. Look at how pretty that is. That is so beautiful. I have these ready to go. I'm just waiting on my brine back here on that little bitty burner. Uh, these two don't work. Um, so I am down to these two. I'm going to get a new stove top soon, hopefully. But uh, I've got four minutes left on the water bath canner. And then we're just doing five jars of okra. I'm going to take the spicy dill pickles out actually i think i'm going to set them over here and the brine in this okra has cooled down tremendously so i'm going to pour it back out into this pot which i have heating up with this brine in it that way it'll be boiling in the same temperature as that or else whenever i put this this one whoop that one and there, when it's boiling, this jar is going to bust. Look how pretty, y'all. Sorry Yay. about the noise in the background. We're letting water out of the sink from where we had pickles. Oh, they look soaking. so beautiful. I just love the way that red pepper looks on that green. I'm so excited. Now that is what I need for it to be able to go in there without my jars shattering. So same as the pickles. I'm going to fill all five of these up. All right, this is the end result of the day. Our beautiful okra. Our beautiful hot dill pickles. Beautiful garlic dill pickles. Well, y'all, it's been a long day of canning and another long day tomorrow. Uh, I hope y'all have a good night and don't forget to like and subscribe. See y'all later.